After a decade and more of strengthening the country's defenses, the Indian Air Force has accepted the Akash missile as a part of its arsenal to counter the Chinese air threat in the northeast region. The Akash missile system will help protect strategic targets in the northeast, whether they are airfields, important bridges on the Brahmaputra, railway junction, power project cities in the region like Guwahati. The Air Force has already cleared the project and defense acquisition council chaired by the Defense Minister A.K. Antony is now expected to clear it on the 28th of January, after which four squadrons of Akash will be ordered to add to the two squadrons ordered on a trial basis earlier. Maruf Raza is a, a, def, a def, defense expert, in fact, with us on the phone line. Uh, Maruf, put into perspective on what is the significance uh, of India getting its own Patriot missile now? Well, you know, all countries uh, have a variety of missile systems which could be from um, intercontinental ballistic missiles to missiles which are pretty long range, in our case, which are the separate variants of the Agni and the Prithvi missiles, and down to missile systems which are defensive missile systems, which is essentially not to hit out at enemy targets deep into enemy territory, but to prevent from the enemy from reaching your important vital installations and important locations within your country. Akash falls in that category of defensive surface-to-air missile systems, and the Air Force, which largely looks after the air safety and the air security of India's border areas, it creates a network of missiles all along India's border areas, which prevents any of India's neighbors or adversaries to enter Indian airspace and carry out any air operations which might be favorable to the enemy. So the long and short of it is the Akash with a range of about 25 to 30 kilometers is a ground-based missile system which can be fired at attacking enemy aircraft in any part of Indian territory. But having said that, let me also add that this kind of a missile system would have been, uh, would work more appropriately in an Indo-Pak context where the chances of hostility are higher and the possibility of airspace violations are higher. In the case of the Chinese, I do not see that kind of a threat, although the Air Force would like to build in all threat perceptions and therefore guard against it, because even in the 1962 conflict, which is the only time when India and China had a border conflict, neither side used air forces.